Hi, thank you for watching Scripture Explorers. We love being able to teach the scriptures and help families understand them better. If you want to help us keep growing and sharing, please subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, and share our videos with friends and family. We also appreciate your donations. You can scan the QR code below or visit scriptureexplorers.com to donate today. Hi, welcome back to Scripture Explorers. I'm James. And I'm Aria. And we're the Scripture Explorers. Come on, come on. See James the Magnificent doing incredible tricks. What kind of tricks can he do? I'll pull a rabbit from this hat. Abracadabra. Wow, good work. Can you do other tricks? I can make myself disappear. Show me. Okay, close your eyes and count to three. One, two, three. James, where did you go? Hey, I see you back there. Oh, are you doing a magic show? Yeah, I was trying to disappear, but Arya saw me. But he did pull a rabbit out of his hat. That was really cool. Yes, magic tricks can be really neat, but magic tricks are really just for fun. This is what makes magic different from a real miracle. Jesus performed many miracles when he was on the earth. Do you remember any of them? He helped a blind man to see. He helped a man who couldn't walk to walk again. And those are just a couple of examples. He did much more. But what he did wasn't a magic trick. It didn't just look like these people were healed. They were actually healed. Anyone can do magic if they work on it. But it's just tricks. Jesus, the prophets, and even regular people are able to work miracles if they believe. And it's what Heavenly Father wants. Miracles can be performed by people who have great faith. But do you think that Heavenly Father does miracles to make people believe in Him? He did lots of miracles in the Book of Mormon. And in the Bible. That's true. But there's something we learn as we see what happened to people who only believed because of a miracle. The Nephites saw many miracles. But they still always ended up forgetting about the miracles and making bad choices. People in the Bible saw incredible miracles. But they also always ended up making bad choices again. This even happened among the pioneers. Joseph Smith worked many miracles among the members, and some men saw incredible visions when they were with him, but some of them still stopped believing. Let's take a look at our restoration timeline to understand where we are. Today we're in 1831. This was a year with a lot of movement for the church. At the beginning of the year, the saints had been commanded to move to Kirtland, Ohio, and now many of them were going to be asked to move to Independence, Missouri to establish Zion. The trouble is, some people were having a hard time keeping their faith strong. It's easy to understand. These were hard times, but it caused some trouble for the church. One such man was Ezra Booth. He had seen Joseph Smith heal a friend of his and had joined the church. But he didn't like Independence, Missouri, and felt like Joseph was not leading the church the right way. Even though he had seen the miracle, it did not build his faith. Ezra Booth later left the church and wrote a lot of very mean things about Joseph Smith and tried to make it so other people would not listen. Is it bad to see miracles? No, it's not bad, but we need to understand that miracles are not meant to be the way we build our faith. They can add to our faith, but there are much more important things we need to be doing to build that faith. Any guesses what they are? Prayer? Going to church? Great ideas. Those are some good examples. We need to follow the commandments, study our scriptures, and try to do the things Heavenly Father asks of us. If we do that, we will build true and lasting faith. I hope you learned a lot today. Remember to subscribe and share. Also, if you want to take your family scripture study to new levels, check out our scripture study helps at the QR code below or visit scriptureexplorers.com.